kita pagi tu bangun pasal ban tu pecah lepas tu dengan hujan jadi dia masuk ke kampung-kampung lah ha, macam tanaman apa semua matilah mana yang tahan kena air masin dia boleh lah hidup pasal dia dua kaki tangga lah kira hal ini dia banjirnya masa tu banjir tahun 2015 banjir yang besar tu berlaku perasaan saya merasa sedih lah kerana kita tidak dapat menolong pasal ban tu pecah tidak ada penambat banjir komuniti dan penduduk mengalami kerugian lah Rupanya dulu kera hutan lah. Sekali kita dah potong masing-masing ambil. Ha, jadi kera pun masuklah ke kampung. Kacau pula tanaman kita. Macam itulah. This community has actually been affected by the floods. Because in the past, the mangrove forest has been deforested. They've lost their livelihood and the biodiversity has disappeared. So it's important that they are protected. In 2015, Ericsson Malaysia celebrated our 50th anniversary. So we were thinking, what's the best gift back to Malaysia? We discovered that there is a community which has such a dire need of, you know, resuscitation of the mangroves. Now, what Ericsson has done is we actually worked together to create a program. So it's a volunteer program, but with a mission to try and help to reforest this place. So we we came down, we planted. We found out that actually when you plant these plants, they did not know whether even 20 or 30% of this will survive. And so what we did is we brought in technology into this mangrove planting and we get the mangroves to talk to us. We combined mobile broadband, cloud and IoT solutions to track soil and water conditions. This data was used to better manage the site. In two years after planting, we had actually reached up to 80% survival rate. Since 2015 to today, I think we can easily say 4,000 plus plants have been planted. To have such a wonderful growth of mangrove plants, can there be anything more encouraging than that? I am very passionate for this whole mangroves project. The mangroves are able to store up to five times more carbon than forests on land. If we can put this many mangroves back, the amount of carbon they take out will help to resuscitate the environment. Peluang pekerjaan untuk penanaman anak bakau ialah tentang pencarian benih, pembesaran kawasan tanaman, penyediaan kawasan penanam benih dan penanaman anak bakau sendiri segala itu menambahkan pendapatan kepada komuniti kampung. Hidupan laut bergantung kepada bakau, udang, ketam, ikan dan siput sedut akan bertambah dengan penanaman anak bakau itu. Itu penyebab utama hasil pendapatan nelayan bertambah. The Connected Mangrove Project is a good example of how technology, partnership and community involvement can create a positive impact and mitigate climate change. For us to be able to help resuscitate this mangrove forest is a little gift back to this community and you can see so much more joy and self-commitment of these senior citizens who are the custodians of this plant. It's their livelihood and this is living in harmony with the mangroves. Jadi kayu bakau ni sebagai penyelamatlah kepada komuniti dan penduduk kampung dan kehidupan liar akan uh, dia kembali ke habitat asal lah ke hutan serta sebagai penahan daripada ombak besar ataupun banjir besar dengan penanaman kayu bakau itu. Harapan saya projek tanaman anak bakau ini diteruskanlah dan diterapkan pada generasi muda sebagai satu hazanah untuk tatapan generasi akan datang dan menyelamatkan kampung daripada segala bencana itu.